What's up guys, it's Dolmata here, and today we're going to be reacting to another John Talks 2 video. So this one we've got, Meanwhile at McDonald's, and yeah, this is going to be the Trump McDonald's thing, I can tell from the thumbnail, obviously. Which, to me, the funniest part about this to me was how mad people on, uh, I, I always want to call it Twitter, but I guess it's X, how mad certain people on X were about this, because this is just like one of those things that you always see politicians do. Right, they'll go kind of like do a half ass, like hour, two hours, day on the job type thing with some like middle or working class job. And then, you know, it, it's part of the campaign thing. But people were seething over the fact that Trump was working at McDonald's. Like all these lefties were fucking seething over it. And it was so funny because it's like, why do you even care? It's like literally every politician does this stupid shit. Is it kind of weird and cringe and probably a waste of time? Yeah. But it, it's just like a normal thing for campaigns, I guess. I, I don't think it's going to get him any votes, right? You're either going to vote for him or you're not, right? I, I maybe one vote from a person he actually interacted with who's like, oh, he's you know he's not a bad guy. I was, I was wrong. But it, like as far as like its actual like outward appearance, I don't think anyone not there actually with him is going to fucking care one way or the other, but uh, or is going to change their vote one way or the other. But anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Trump works fry cooker at McDonald's and mega faithful lineup to order. I'll take whatever he gives me. I wonder if if you drive through here, I'd imagine that they have to have like Secret Service check your fucking car and shit, which is kind of crazy. Like you just want to go get a burger, and then Trump happens to be your local. That that part would be kind of annoying. Right, you're fucking, especially if you're like a stone teenager, you just drive up to fucking McDonald's, and then you start fucking, all of a sudden secret service agents come out of the fucking woods and start searching your car, and you're just fucking panicking. Trump works drive through at Pennsylvania McDonald's. Hello, everybody. not a normal situation, is it? Oh, what a good looking family. There'll be no charge. Trump is thankful. Now, now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. Are you going to put this on your record? <laughs> <laughs> I worked at McDonald's. Why would she lie about that? Why? Because she's lying Kamala this one. Hey, please. Oh, did she claim to work at McDonald's at one point? I was not aware of that. That's interesting. What, what jobs has she even held? I would imagine, I know she used to be like a a, a wag, right? That's kind of how she got her rise to fame in the first place, was she was a, like a famous wag, right? One of the wives and girlfriends. She used to just sleep around with celebrities in LA. And then somehow she like, lever honestly, you know, props to her leveraging that into a political career, but uh, I don't know what she did before that. A lot of fun here, everybody. Oh my God, oh my God. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Thank you. <laughs> see, see I, I wasn't even aware of the Kamala McDonald's claims. Um, got Mox Harris story from behind the fryer. Uh, did Kamala's work at McDonald's or not? Uh, Newsweek looks into it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, da, 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 da. uh her camp identified the location of Central Avenue, California, 41 years ago in the summer of 83, would have been a rising sophomore uh, at Hoff, at uh, Howard University. So they don't even say here. The job location is for a clerk position. Nineteen seven. Not the McDonald's gig. I mean, that doesn't necessarily say anything. I, I, there's been jobs I haven't put on a resume. 
right? Usually you only put like your three most prestigious jobs that you've done on a resume. So depending on what other jobs you have, I, I like I might not have put it on a resume too. Um, Okay, so it seems like nobody knows if she actually fucking worked there or not. Or at least Newsweek doesn't know. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.